What's up, Virgo? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Hope everybody's having a blessed and wonderful day as usual. Well, okay, they got to guy. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, today, you guys, I'll be trying to say like two, three words at the same time. Okay, you guys, uh, today we're going to be doing the uh, Virgo uh, general reading for the month of March. Okay, uh, this may not apply to every single person that watches this reading. Okay, uh, keep in mind that if it does not uh, resonate, Choose one of the other signs in your other houses because there may be an important message left for you there. I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy out here. Okay, let's see what's coming up for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know right now? What does Virgo need to know right now, please? What does Virgo need to know right now? What does Virgo need to know right now, please? What does Virgo need to know right now, por favor? Por favor. got too many cards we already had a whole gang of cards that dropped out on these when i pulled them already we're gonna go with it though okay let's see what we got here for you guys okay we have through gone oh, bro learn how to talk learn how to talk english 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 okay through pure luck you will win the lottery or some money that you did not have to work for Sums big or small, we love them all. Hell yeah, hell yeah, we love all the all the money, all the money. But yeah, so it's saying that you guys, there's some luck that's surrounding you guys. So if you guys are into game of chances, you know, a lottery, you know, whatever stuff like that. I'm not trying to promote gambling, but do what you want to do to grow. Okay, but if you guys are into that, you know, it's telling you to play a ticket. You know, uh, there may be some luck that's coming to you guys. Uh, it could either be that some of you guys might win the lottery. You know, I'm not saying that everybody's going to win it, but some of you guys may win or some of you guys may just be may just receive some money, you know, and from somewhere, some form or something, you know. Uh, someone may try to bring bad energy into your life. Watch out and protect yourself. Yeah, you guys have uh, always people stay vigilant. That is why I do those readings that say um, who around you is hating on you or trying to block your blessings or. Who is your secret enemy? Uh, who has an evil eye on you? That is why I do those types of readings because we need to stay vigilant. We need to know just because you had a reading done a month ago and you found out who was hating on you at that time. It don't mean that they're for one, not hating on you still now and not sending you evil eye and sending bad juju and stuff your way. They're not doing that now because they very well may be doing it again. Once you get it, once you get whatever they put off you first time, they may come back and put something else on you. Or you might even have new people putting stuff on you. So you always have to be on the lookout. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying be paranoid and not live your life, but I'm saying, you know, do checkups every now and then to make sure, you know, what's going on around you. You know, just because, you know, because these people, haters, people who are here doing black magic or whatever, are hating on you, are jealous for what you got, they don't sleep. So, are you going to sleep? Just because you want to sleep, that don't mean that they're going to sleep, okay? Anyways, someone may try to bring bad energy into your life. Watch out and protect yourself for this person. So, just be vigilant. Be careful, okay? Send out a strong intention for something you want to manifest. If it serves your highest good, you will receive it. Remain receptive. So, it's telling you right now. Um, <clears throat> it's like a, a wish that you get from the universe. It's telling you. That, you know, it's telling you to what you want. Think of something that you really, really, truly, truly want and send out the intention uh, for you to get it and that something that you want to manifest. And if it serves your highest good, you'll receive it. If it does not serve your highest good, you may not receive it. But that is not a bad thing. You know, either way, remain receptive. You guys are in manifestation mode. Manifest the things that you want in your life right now. Like I said, if it's meant for you to get it, if it serves your highest good, you're going to get it. Okay. Let's see what else we got. We got diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Okay, that's good. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Will, indecisiveness, allowing your life to remain aimless, to ramble, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So, yeah, some of you guys may be, um, I'm hearing autopilot. Some of you guys may be operating in autopilot. I just saw 444. OK, if that resonates with anybody. But some of you guys may have been in autopilot. It's time for you to 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 snap out of it and to get back in the game. I'm hearing I'm hearing get back in the game. 
turning back on. It's like it's like I'm seeing like a race running. People are moving, 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 but you went off to the side or like it's a highway and the cars are driving, driving, moving, but you went off to the side, okay? And then you're just waiting on the side. So it's like, okay, get back in the lane and keep going, you know? Get back out there. Okay, we got V. V for victory. It says victory in some endeavor. So you're going to be victorious in something, something that you want to happen. It could be something that you want to manifest. You're going to be victorious in it. So give it a try. If you guys aren't into this kind of thing, you know, manifesting or when you don't believe in it, give it a try. You know, open your mind, you know, live a little, have some fun. Desk, pay attention to your work. It's telling you to pay attention to what you're doing right now. This could be this could be your physical work that you do, or it could also be uh, just what you do in life in general, what you're doing right now, pay attention. Don't just float around aimlessly, you know, and just going on autopilot. It's telling you to be in the game, be present, you know. When the teacher calls your name in the class, be present. Say, say I'm here. Say here. You know, don't just be zoned off somewhere else. And the teacher's like, Virgo, are you here? Virgo, I'm looking right at you. Virgo, you know, it's like, wake, I'm hearing somebody's like in the days right now. Somebody's in the daydream right now. Somebody's in the fantasy land right now. It's time for you to snap out of it and focus on what truly matters in your life, okay? And stop avoiding things that you need to take care of. It's time for you to stop avoiding something, okay? We got bull. It says, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Yeah, in some area of your life, you guys need to stand up for yourself, okay? Something, you may come across some opposition, but it's saying, you know, don't, this ain't the time to be a little, you know, a little cute little bunny or a little cute little whatever kind of animal you think is cute. It's time for you to be that bull, you know what I'm saying? Charge at the mofos. I'm not telling you to fight nobody, but you know what I mean. Scissors disappointment in some affair you guys may be disappointed with somebody or something i'm feeling that it could be with somebody for some of you guys it could be just that you haven't achieved what you wanted to achieve and it's bringing in some form of disappointment to you but it's saying that you know don't worry about that you know just get back out there and and keep doing what you what you need to do you know have some sort of some sort of goal that you're working towards uh, something that you want to manifest and, and put that intention out there, you know, put that intention out there, put in the action, remain receptive to it. Months, we got June. June could be a significant month for you guys. So something might be popping off or happening uh, significant for you in the month of June, okay? Sunrise, okay. New creative ideas, new event, new ventures, a fresh start. So you guys are having a brand new start for you guys coming up for you guys. And I feel that for you guys, if you were in that that mental fog, you know, if you were in uh, limbo, if you were in um, what they call it autopilot, you guys are gonna be snapping out of it, you know. Um, and you have the opportunity opportunity to snap out of it, and it's gonna bring in a lot of uh, once you open yourself up back to life, you know, open yourself up back to the flow, open yourself up back spiritually as well. It is gonna bring in new creative ideas for yourself, you know. It's gonna take you to new places. Uh, you guys may be doing new work ventures. You may be doing new creative projects. You may be doing new side hustles. You know, I see creative juices flowing, you know, and, symbol and symbolizing this fresh new uh, start that you guys have for yourself. Let's go ahead and see what messages we have for you guys in tarot. What messages do we have for Virgo, please? Knight of Cups, some sort of offer is coming in for you guys, okay? Offer in some area of your life. Knight of Cups is coming through for you guys. Ooh, look on the bottom. <laughs> We're going to ride with it. You got Four of Wands as well. So some, I see some sort of some sort of good news coming in for you guys, okay? Um, it, like it says, um, we did say through pure luck, some money, you're going to win something. Some money could come to you that you did not have to work for, okay? Some's big or small. We love them all. So that might be something that's coming through for you guys, too, that's going to make you happy. 
Um, send out, like it says, you're in manifestation mode. So definitely send something out because the vibes around you guys right now are very, very positive. And I see some sort of celebration coming through. I see things, uh, you guys could be reuniting with somebody from your past, okay? This could be someone who has a soul uh, connection with you guys in some sort of way, twin flame, soulmate, whatever, whatever it is, whatever you vibe to. But this is somebody who you're on the same page with, okay? For some of you guys, if it's not love, this is just you moving towards uh, a more happier time in your life, okay? You getting your life back, you getting yourself back, you coming back into more balance. Uh, mentally and emotionally and spiritually, you know, to where you're actually living your life. Now you're living, you're doing things, you're celebrating, you're playing, you're laughing, you're having fun, you know, the, those whole types of vibes. And I feel that there's going to be people around you that support you as well. People that are part of your soul tribe, your soul fam, that's going to be around you and supporting you as well. And in and, and further increasing that feeling uh, that you are alive, you know, and uh, which will allow you to to actually live your life better, you know? Like I said, for some of you guys, this is just, this could be actually a love offer for some of y'all, you know, with someone with a deep soul level connection. 1111, I just saw. So definitely, look, 1111, 1111, you can't make this stuff up, you guys. I just saw it on the timestamp. Uh, yeah, so just be on the lookout for that. Something positive, some good news coming through for you guys. Take advantage of this time and don't let it pass you by, okay? Because it could take you into a complete different direction than you were uh, even thinking for yourself, okay? Let's see what message we have for Virgo from the spirit team. What is the spirit team? What is Virgo's spirit team? Want to let them know. This is your ancestors, your spirit guides, angels, God, universe, whatever you believe in. What is your spirit team? Want to let you know. Be careful of those trying to use you. You guys could come to some luck, okay? You guys can have some luck with something. Uh, and how, how, whatever way that plays out in your life, whether it is money or the spirituality or energy, whatever it is, either way, this could cause you to gain uh, the wrong kind of attention to where people see that you got. Like, it's like, like if you come into that money, I just saw 12, 12. If you come into that money and then people see that you got money, you flaunting your money and they see you, they could try to use you. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys do come into money, don't let nobody know about it. Keep it to yourself. Stay lay. I'm, I'm hearing lay low. You know, keep it low. Keep it. Be incognito. Keep it a secret between only you and who you need to let know about it. Right? Don't. If you don't have to let nobody know about it, don't let nobody know about it. Just let it be a secret. Okay. Hold yourself in high regard. Yeah. Don't let nobody play you either. Okay. Don't let nobody feel that. Don't. Don't feel like you have to have other people's acceptance. In order for you to thrive and live in life, you don't need nobody's acceptance. You are good uh, the way just you are. You don't need people to tell you how to be. You know, you just be how you naturally are, you know. And you, uh, this is further also uh, confirming too, like only vibe and connect with those who are on the same page as you are, who are on the same wavelength or of your same um, soul tribe and soul fam. Just saw 1313, all these, oh, okay. Anyways, I'm just going to keep seeing numbers. But yeah, it says hold yourself in high regard. Don't don't sell yourself short to people. Don't let nobody take advantage of you, okay? Hold yourself in high regard, all right? That's what I got for you guys, Virgo, for this reading. If you like it, if it resonated, like the video, subscribe to the channel. All right, much love and light to you guys. Take care. Ciao.